Um, Manuel, can you give us an update on injuries? Um, in particular, Vincent Company, obviously, there's some concern over him. Well, about the injuries, we continue with the same uh, three players, Silva, Seco, and, and uh, Alex Dolarov. And about uh, Vincent Company, we'll see, we'll know this afternoon exactly what, is, what he has. He has uh, an injury in his hamstring, but we'll see how, how, the, uh, how long will be. But uh, we need to wait till the afternoon. If, if he doesn't make it, what options are you looking at? I mean, you've got Dedrick Boati, you've got perhaps San you can play there. What would you favour? Well, you we have Dedrick Boyata, he's working very well. We have also Martin De Michelis, we have uh, Bakari Sanya. So we have three options. We'll see tomorrow which of two of them will play. Suddenly, the Premier League at the top looks like a very different picture. What, what's changed over the last three games for Manchester City, Manuel? Well, I said before, the three games that we are not playing so bad. Maybe we are making some mistakes that the results were not the result that, that we want. But we didn't change our style. We didn't, uh, we didn't uh, lose our trust in what we, we can do. And we continue trying to play in, in the same way and improve, in improving some individual mistakes and uh, some inconsistent uh, time during the game. Do those results, though, mean, certainly the two in the Premier League, that you're back in this title race? I don't know if the world's going back. We are never out of the, of the, of the fight for the title. So I, I, I always say the same answer. We have to play 57, 56, 55 now, more games. We have a lot of games and too many points to decide who, is, will be the, the, who will be the champion this year. But if you're going to do it, if you're going to retain your title, is the crucial thing that you're now getting goals from all parts of the pitch, not just Sergio Aguero? I don't think that just uh, Sergio Aguero is the our scoring, our scoring player. He's a, he's a very important player. He, he's the best scorer of the Premier League. But I think that this team always, all the all the other players are involved in goal. Last year we have a lot of players that that, that uh, score goals. This year the same thing. In the last three games, uh, in two of them, uh, Sergio Aguero didn't score, and uh, we won the game against Swansea. Also, he didn't score against uh, against Southampton. Uh, he didn't do it. So, but he was a very important player as a, as a team inside the team. He's a very important player, but not just aware of this thing. No, but is that going to be the crucial thing that everyone scores? So there isn't that pressure on him to be the only person scoring? But he never has that, that uh, pressure for him. He has the pressure to demonstrate that he's a very good striker in the way this team play. But before that, and uh, all the last season, I repeat, all the team were always involved in scoring. Sunderland... The way we think that we must play. Sorry, Sunderland's always been a tricky place to go. Why has it been so tough for Manchester City? I think it's four 1-0 defeats in the last four visits. Because it's, it's, a, it's a tough team to play against them, because they defend uh, very well, because they're at, uh, at home and away, I think that it's a, it's a, it's a team that knows exactly what they must do during the game. So we hope that this season we are going to have uh, more luck. And I know you've answered plenty of questions or not on Frank Lampard, but can you just take us through the time scale? You mentioned December yes. at the weekend. Is but that I, this week in December or...? No, I didn't. I said December, but not December the first or December the second. We have the whole month of December to decide. I'll stay with Frank Lampard. Has he been better than you thought he would be in his time here? No, no, because I think it's different to think that can Lampard could do it better than the way he plays. It's very difficult to do it better than Frank Lampard. He's doing the same way in the last, in the same way the last twelve years here in England. So when uh, he came here. I expect for him that he will be the same player that uh, his whole career because he's a top player. I repeat, maybe he, for his age, he cannot play three games in the same week, 90 minutes, but his quality is the same that two or three years ago. What did you make of the 0-0 the draw between Sunderland and Chelsea and did you learn anything from that game? I think that all the games are different. I repeat, Sunderland is always a very difficult team. Uh, Playing at home or playing, uh, playing away, I also think that the Premier League, everyone can beat or can draw with, uh, with another team. So that's why uh, I'm so convinced that if we continue improving our, our work in the, or in the way we are playing, we have a lot of chances to fight with Chelsea. And I don't think that just with Chelsea, I'm sure that two or three 
more um, teams will be also involved in the fight for the title. Why do you think it's so hard to win at Sunderland? Well, I just said, because they know what, what they must do during the game. You ha can have different style of playing, but they know exactly what they, they must do. They have a very good manager, as Gustavo Poyet, that he knows the, the Premier League. So both things make it a strong team. Will the decision on Frank Lampard be made be because of City either going through or going out of the Champions League in the Roma game? Are you waiting until <coughs> the outcome of that game? No, no, no. no. The one, uh, it's not that the reason. I don't think that one thing is uh, tied with the other one. Uh, the, the decision of Frank Lampard will be the same if we continue Champions League or if we don't continue Champions League. You played Yaya Toure in central defence when you had problems in midweek with injuries and Mangala being sent off. You've mentioned Bakary Sanya and uh, you've mentioned Dedrick Boyata. Could it be that Yaya Toure is considered in that position? Well, Yaya had played in that position many years ago. I don't think that his, his, uh, his position in this moment were the last minute because they had also very tall players. Uh, we need a central back. Uh, between him and Fernandinho, I think that was better for, for Yaya. But uh, tomorrow, I don't think that he will play in that position. And Matija Nastasic, uh, is, he, is he still injured? I mean, he's, a lot of fans are wondering why he's never mentioned as a possibility to, to play in a central defensive role at the moment. No, because unfortunately for him, he's uh, again injured. He has too long injuries this season. He has a muscle injury in his side. It's, I don't know if he, he will be able to work with the squad at this one week more, so this is not an option for tomorrow.